fire between violent rival gangs. The piece started after the funeral of a Sunnydale gang member. As Tomas Roman reports, the gangs, police, and the communities hope it's the beginning of the end for that cycle of violence. We don't gotta be soft to be for peace. Murder and robbing and murder and stealing is the least. Now it's time for us to stop the madness. Peace. This is the first graduating class of Mayor 89. These teens all had summer jobs and training to try and take them off the streets and away from gang violence. These trainees from Sunnydale and Western Edition attended a friend's funeral Friday, then cried out for peace. It was another death of a Sunnydale gang member as a result of gang violence. Community worker Shalitha Box says they were ready to stop the killing. The brothers got together and they started saying, well, how can we stop this? Because they said, we don't want to die because it looks like we're lining the bodies up. And, they, and so we said, well, who's going to be next? Last March, Sunnydale and Hunters Point gang members clashed at Sunnydale gang member Chief Charlie's funeral. Some say the threats made here led to the continuing gang violence that killed Patrick Barnett's cousin last week. It was because of turf, you know. They was coming, they was coming to get us. You know, they was coming to ambush us. You know, and they just happened to see, they just happened to see my cousin by herself. Patrick's friends started the caravan on Friday through rival gang territory in Hunter's Point, yelling, stop the violence. They say they want the peace to last. I just don't want nobody, you know, nobody happen to be looking over my shoulder and knowing that one of my friends is getting killed by somebody else from over here over nothing. To stop the deaths like that of Chief Charlie's, one of the next steps might be jobs for the kids, which might stop some of them from getting involved in the sale of crack and cocaine. Then maybe the dismantling of the gangs and getting rid of the guns that go with them. I think that would really send the tone to all of us that there is a deep-rooted commitment out there. In San Francisco, Tomas Roman, Channel 5, Eyewitness News. Some gang members plan to get together again next month for a meeting at the Fairmont Hotel. New information.